Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Eric, KJ4YZI, amateur radio operator, and you're watching Ham Radio Concepts. In this video, I'll touch briefly on an update to a previous video. Previous video I showed you sending emails over Ham Radio, WinLink over HF. And I've done this in the past, and then I made an update video, but a lot of people by popular request watched that video, they tried it, and then they said, Eric, you need to show everybody the updated mode or method of ham radio and sending emails over HF with Vera HF or Vara, Vera. I'll show you that now, Vera HF over WinLink Express. Part of the idea of making videos like this is to get you involved in something you didn't know existed or you've never played with with ham radio. And one of the things I said in that video about HF email over WinLink was, hey, you know, if you try it, send me an email through HF, you know, not on the internet, send it through VHF or HF over the ham radio to test it and let me know. And I said, you know, I don't know if I can reply to all of them, but it's good. And look, look at all the messages I got. People are saying, hey, you know, thanks. Shout out from your YouTube video. Got to see it on Winmore 7300. I used it, worked well. You know, right here, I wanted to thank you for your info. You know, just trying out WinLink. That was the idea. And and I, I appreciate all the emails. I replied, you know, replied to some of them. But at least those people decided to check it out, try it. And now they have it. And just exercise it sometimes when, you know, you get bored or you want something to do. And you'll always have that additional emergency communication or just for fun in your ham radio knowledge or mind that you could play with, such as emails over ham radio. Okay, in the previous video, or you may already know this, I showed you WinLink, which is the client software I use to send emails over HF frequencies, right? You're on the top of a mountain, you wanna send an email for disaster or emergency preparedness or just for fun, you'd use what I use, the WinLink, uh, client software here and there's several other client softwares out there. I used WinLink now We you know WinLink handles a lot of different formats and modes we used in the last video WinMore. okay WinMore is a sound card based uh, You know HF mode in the WinLink Express software now Talking about this video Vera FM and Vera HF now a lot of people have already suggested hey you need to check out Winmore's going away one day. This is the new thing. Well, there's a caveat to this, see, because I know my, my subscribers are going to say, and I don't, I don't know if I really want to do this, but there is a fee. It'll run as a demo program, but there's a fee to license this Vera sound card modem through the author. And you can do that for a fee of $70 and get the full effect of Vera with high speed military grade or you could use it in demo mode like we're going to show you in this video speed limited okay now some people may say well I'm not paying for that and I get that okay but there's some people that you know throw money out there and they want a really reliable and high speed solution so they're going to pay the $70 license to get it and that's up to you but I'm not saying you have to or you should, but that's what the deal is. Now, Vera HF and Vera FM. So real quick in a nutshell, here is the Vera sound card modem software from the author here that you would download, uh, and the link is in the description under this video. You would download this high-performance HF modem installed on your computer, and this will enable you to use the Vera format. Now, in a definition down here, it tell you, Vera is a high-performance HF modem based on OFDM modulation. The Vera modem brings state-of-the-art military-grade technology to new and existing HF data. It introduces a new standard of technology available for amateur and commercial use, designed for operation within a single sideband bandwidth of 2,400 hertz. That's 2.4 uh, kilohertz. And it shows you, you know, the symbol rate at different levels and stuff like this. So you can send a lot of traffic a lot faster in a more reliable mode at the sake of buying the license. Now, a lot of people buy the license. That That's not the person. That's the person, you know, you're supporting that person. He spent time, he or she spent time developing the software. So that's why they charge for it. But uh, I think in amateur radio, it should be at least, you know, free forever uh, and donations accepted would be the best way. So let me look in the WinLink Express software real quick and see how this comes together. 
So in the win link express up here in the drop down, remember you have uh, we should win more than there's telnet over the internet and pack tour. We're going to go to Vera HF win link. Now, when you open the session, assuming that you went in the settings over here and you have your radio configured and set for uh, the radio you're using, sound card interface. Uh, I'm using the ICOM 7300. It's just a matter of a USB cable and it keys the radio, passes audio to and from. So it's a lot easier with the 7300, but you could do it with very many different radios, okay? So we're in a Vera WinLink session. Now, the, when you download that program, you don't have to run that program. You see, it already started launching Vera TNC. It already started the virtual modem. This is this right here. And all you really need to do in the Vera TNC program is go to settings and go to sound card and select your input and output, which would be the USB audio codec, which is my uh, ICOM 7300, okay? But if you're using a signal link, if you're using a Yaesu 991, you're gonna select the input and output to match your radio so that it knows where to get and send the audio. Your drive level is going to be uh, to keep your ALC, and I like how they have the picture here, your ALC on the radio, does not or should not be pegged out here to the red. It should be at a decent level down here. So you can adjust your drive, and this is basically your sound level from your computer to your radio so that it's not overdriving the radio and just distorting, okay? So um, once this is running, you can just minimize this because the WinLink program is taking care of that communication. It's already connected, and I'm already connected to my 7300 on COM5. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to channel selection, and you should do this every day. Uh, update the table via the internet. What that's going to do is you can watch this little line here. It's going to start updating the database on uh, estimated reliability to different uh, paths, to different you know Vera gateways. Because you know during the day you would use maybe 20 and 17 and 10 meters, and at night you would use something like 40, 30, and 80 meters. So it gives you, you know, it updates this. I wouldn't always say this is the absolute, you know, answer over here because as you'll see when I update this, there could be some that are in yellow or below 50. That may work. So you just got to try them. Okay, this is updated. Now, you look at the list here as I scroll up and down. All in the green would be a good path quality and reliability. And in the chart here, you can see the call sign of that node, the frequency, the grid square, and the beam heading. So if you have a beam, you can face it that direction. Now, being that it's 8.28 p.m., we're going to uh, rely on, well, I'm going to try uh, a 20-meter station that I worked before uh, as testing. And we're going to try this one. This is N5TW. And uh, we're going to double-click on this. And WinLink automatically sets my radio to that frequency in the right mode, and away I go. Now, I'm going to hit Start, and what's going to happen is it's going to send requests to that, and hopefully that station answers, similar to WinLink with a TNC, but you'll see what's happening here. If I hit Start, you can see on the radio it's keying, and I'll turn the volume up. Okay, and then it comes back when it hears the, re the request. Now, what you, I'll turn this up so you can hear it. Immediately, what you'll hear is this sounds like Nintendo, original Nintendo Mike Tyson's punch out. When little Max talking to his coach. And if you if you play that game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we'll turn this down. You get to hear it. Kind of sounds like Olivia, maybe. And what's happening is, see right here, it's it's running slow because I'm in demo mode. Okay. But uh, what's happening is it's establishing a communication. Here's the modem here, and uh, you can see up here. This is kind of like the constellation eye quality that you saw on Winlink. Um, you know, with uh, Windmore, but it's sort of giving you an idea of the constellation diagram. And the waterfall down here, audio input, CPU usage, and the bits per second in the graph up here. 
Now, what this is, uh, you know, doing is you can see now it says this software is currently running in free trial mode. So it's limited to 175 bits per second in the free trial. But you can see it's sending here and uh, it's going back and forth on my radio. And then if I had any messages to send or receive, they would be here. Uh, and the time is 1.4 minutes for that session in the demo mode, but a little more reliable and robust than Winmore, uh, being that you have a virtual TNC here that's doing all the work to decode and encode to the radio. Okay. Um, so, you know, you get the idea. If you haven't watched the previous WinLink video, you can check that out. And that's uh, Winmore. I'll close this. You see in the previous video, we went up here because these stations that you see on the channel selection under Vera operate at a different mode. Now, if I go to win more, okay, and I open session, I'll do a channel selection. And you can see right here, here's my sound card TNC that's built into WinLink, okay? But uh, that video is in my channel. You can check that out. The link is in the description. At least you get an idea of what's going on. For the Vera HF, you know, military grade. Uh, is what they say, military grade, a different format, uh, a lot more robust and faster for a paid license. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, that may be more beneficial than Winmore. Uh, my idea is it's great to use. I think it should be free with donations given to the author for his time, but that's just my opinion. Uh, that's it, guys. Just a quick video to update to show those. There's other options. You know, there's a lot up here, too. But if you don't have a Pactor modem and you want something different than Winmore, there's Vera. 7-3, everyone. KJ4YZI.